everyone, I am here celebrating one of the best Kira Kira Precure episodes so far, episode 16, Yukari-centered episode. This episode was really intense, and I loved how they handled Yukari's personality. We could see a little more of her and how she thinks, how she analyzes the situation, and the way that she dealt with the whole Julio real situation was really, really intense. I have my Cure Fortune t-shirt to celebrate. I don't have a Macaron t-shirt yet. I, I, I think I'm, I want one. <laughs> I obviously want one. And okay, so first of all, her episode is the last um, character-centered episode. It seems that next week we have another Ichika-centered episode, but Ichika already had her episode. So Yukari had uh, Yukari was the last one to receive an episode, and because of that, inside the story, uh, she was the, the last person to be attacked, and she knew that she was going to be next. She was the only one that noticed it, that the girls were being attacked in an, in some kind of order, or actually. Uh, um, Julio's attacks were focused in the girls. I mean, they were focusing on someone close to the girls. And she was the only one that was not attacked in a way. And she knew that she was going to be the next one, so she made her move. First of all, I have to say that Akira is also noticing that Julio is a strange person. Not Julio. Um, Rio. Rio is a strange guy. But Yukari, she... she got it right when he appeared the first time. So she finally made her move. She invited him and all the girls to her house to a tea ceremony and that was a very beautiful moment with her grandmother and it was very nice seeing the girls with kimonos and Akira and Ryo in hakamas. Uh, Akira's reaction was a little priceless and I, I felt that she was doing everything she was supposed to do, but at the same time she was acting in a way that she was um, trying to find her way in Rio, into Rio's mind and how he works and how he acts. So she did it. She talked about her sister and how she feels um, that they give all the responsibility to her sister, to her older sister and nothing to her and that kind of leaves her um, feeling a little guilty. and. That was a very nice move in her part, and I was like, what? There was no sister before, and now there's a little, there's an older sister in your story? And that totally, uh, it kind of made sense to me, and I was totally excited to see her older sister. And then the fight came. First of all, the fighting was a little boring, and I thought, okay, oh, nothing's going on. But Yukari song was playing, and Yukari song is amazing. Cat Meat Sweets. That song is amazing. I love that song so much. If you don't, if you haven't watched that video with Yukari dancing, go watch it because this, this is amazing. And then um, there was such an intense scene because uh, Rio was able to, Julio actually, was able to capture her and then uh, the church bell rang and it was all so intense and it became a, a very silent moment. It was silent, and she was just there, captured, and I was a little confused. I was like, oh my god, Yukari, what are you doing? I knew that there was something up at her sleeve, you know, she wouldn't leave that part without doing anything, and I was right. She was just having fun, and she was just enjoying the moment and finding the right moment, waiting for the right moment to strike back on Julio and it was so nice the way that she handled the situation and the way that she told him that she knew who he really is and she was able to show him without actually telling him and that was so impressive that was so impressive and so intelligent and Yukari's part and the writers were also very good because we, we don't have this kind of writing in Precure it's kind of a first thing it's the first time we have something like that right it's the first time that we have uh, such an uh, an intense and kind of silent discussion with the characters that's a that's a first in Precure.
episode, we also had her new attack, Macaron Julienne, and when I saw the attack for the first time, I was like, oh, is that it? But then there was her little meow, and I was like, oh my god, Yukari, I love you so, 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 so much. You are the best character ever. You are the best character ever. Oh my god, I screamed. I really got out of myself. That's this attack is perfect, and the, the little meow that she did just so the claws would get out of her yo-yo. Bitch, I love you. I really, really love you. And then, uh, I think that there was another nice thing in this episode, which was uh, the last scene with her grandmother. They were able to taste Julio's, not Julio's, Rio's tea. He prepared tea for Yukari. And her grandmother noticed something in the way that he prepared the tea. Yukari noticed it as well. And I think that being prof prof proficient, proficient in this, uh, they can notice your emotions in doing uh, the, the, the tea and preparing the tea. And I think that what they notice about Julio is how sad he is. I think that's something like that. How sad, how pain how much pain he has inside of him, and that translated into the tea. And I think that this is very important because this is probably a reason why Yukari haven't told the girls um, why and who 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 Rio really is and the, Julio's identity. Uh, I I think that's the reason. I mean, I think that she's gonna try to find a way to help him before telling the girls who he is. And that's very Yukari. That's a very Yukari thing to do. She doesn't share much of her. And this idea of not finding yourself and being bored by most things, I can really relate to that. And that's a very nice thing when you see a character that goes through problems that you've been through and that you are going through. And I love that in media in general, in art in general. That's a very nice part of art, in my opinion. And I think that they did a very good thing with you, Kadi, and the way that she handles her lack of enthusiasm. Um, next episode, it seems that things are going to be very, very tense with Ichika, but then I think that we are on to plot right now. We're on to Julio's story. And to be honest, I'm very curious about his story, and I'm very curious about Kira Parfit's, um, Kira Parfit's introdu introduction to the series, because I have no idea what's going on, we have no idea what's going on, and the characters, uh, Pekorin and Jabba, they also have no idea what's going on as well. You know, they are very confused, they don't know what Rio's after, we don't know what Rio's after, and I don't even know if Rio knows what he's after. So, this part of Kirikira Kira is very confusing, but I actually like the way that they're using it as a mystery. So, yeah, I think that this is something that's going to be very interesting to see. I am very excited. I loved this episode. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I hope you guys are enjoying Kirikira Kira Precure as much as I am, you know. I'm loving Kirikira Kira Precure to death, and this is one of the greatest Precure seasons so far. I have never been so excited for every single episode. I love Kira Kira. I love it. Guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye!